What's up everybody? It's Grim, and today I'm coming to you with a special vlog because today we have two YouTubers who have come to collab with us. Yes, Muscle Man Malcolm and Brandon Hodge. They are in town for Battleground. And they wanted to do they wanted to film a special episode for their channel over at the GTS warehouse. And I said, well, then you know you gotta come toy shopping with the Grimster. We're gonna go over to Walmart, we're gonna stir up some trouble, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So let's do this. Okay, so now we are here at Walmart. We are here with Brandon. We are here with Malcolm. And what are we going to do? We're going to be bad? We're going to be very bad. <laughs> we do bad things. I'm the originator of doing bad things in, in Walmart in this town. Just so you know. <laughs> right? How long exactly. have I been doing this? A long time. Probably before you were born. <laughs> no, I don't think that, but close enough. Oh my god, it's a ladder match! It's a ladder match! Set her up, set her up, set her up, set her up. Let's see him go. Hey, thank him. Okay. Thank him. We're on the ladder match. We're on the ladder match. We got the ladder. Look, they got their cameras. How are they supposed to how are they supposed to challenge me in a ladder match? If you got your camera. Yeah, we're all vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do. They should hang it up there. We gotta get views too. Alright. Yeah. He goes, we gotta get views too. Yeah. Okay. Let's smash this two thousand dollar camera. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> is it running? Yeah. Okay, it's running. So now it's a ladder match. You get the camera. <laughs> Who's gonna get the camera first? before I break it? <laughs> oh, Grim lost the ladder match. <laughs> what? No ladder match? <laughs> uh oh, manager's uh -oh. mad. So hold it, hold it, I'm gonna. Alright. <laughs> gotta sell it. Yeah, man, you gotta sell it. Dude, this, this could be the most greatest video ever. Stunner to the man. I don't want to interrupt your fight, but. <laughs> 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 you have, uh, nuts and bolts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. She wants his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted your nuts and bolts. Oh. <laughs> it's just a lot of pictures. Kick him out, she said. Kick him out. All right, we'll stop. I'm sorry. Pay for my camera. <laughs> All right, we have to stop now. We got in trouble. Oops. We got in trouble quick. We're, We're not taping. We're not taping anything. No, we're not. We're Shh. not videotaping. We're not tapes. No. We got. Same we got. Zane. Same Zane. Same Zane. and Zane. Zane. No Rusev. Rusev. Stephanie. Rusev. Not Typhoon. Here. So, let me tell you a funny story about Typhoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I met him at Legends of the Ring, right? Uh -huh. And he's so cool. He's like the coolest guy ever. And he like loves me. And so then it was like the next time I went back, he's like, grab, grab, grab. And he's like, I want to be on your show. And I'm like, all right, give me your number. And so he's like, put it in my phone. So he literally just gives me his phone. I put my number in it and I set myself as grim and whatever. Right. Oh. And then like three days later, he texts me at like nine o'clock in the morning. And he's like, grim, you're awesome. <laughs> and I'm like, thanks, Tugboat. You're the coolest dude ever. Fred Ottman, Shockmaster. What else was he? Tugboat. Uh, oh, and Typhoon, yeah. a dirt. Yeah. Typhoon. Somebody repacked a Typhoon. Bunch of jerks. Ooh, what do we have down here? There's, there's, you were oh, looking for Rusev. Yes. Uh oh, yes. <laughs> You were looking for Rusev Machka. Who we got here? Oh, hit me. Oh, oh, they can't wait, they can't wait to get thrown out. They can't wait to get thrown out. Yes. You're like, we don't care. Yes. We do, we live in Tennessee. Where are you from? You're from Washington. DC. Yeah. I have to live here. I live around the corner. Yeah. Stop trying to get me in trouble. Exactly. Yo. You guys uh, like you guys are like kids practically compared yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> are you into Legos? Uh I used to. Yeah, I used to. I like yeah. Legos. I like oh. Legos too. You're gonna roast me like a turkey? Cause like I legit want this. And look, <laughs> it's on rollback. And Eat I think bugs. you should buy it for me. $80. 80 dollars. I got you. I got, I got you. Yeah, you should oh, buy it for me. You guys are like successful YouTubers. You make all kinds of money. Can, can I get this? I'm a comic nerd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> look at, look at, look at, look at, my man's buying me stuff. Who wants some milk? <laughs> yeah. I'll get some. Okay, yeah. Some food? I'll get yeah. some. Two gallons. Two, gallons. two gallons of milk. Almond? Okay. Or 2%. 2% milk. Two gallons. Please. <laughs> so we all got thrown out. Yeah. We all got thrown out of there thanks to these two clowns. Don't look but, at me. I didn't but guess who didn't get thrown out? This one here. They, oh, let, they let him buy things. <laughs> you know why? I'm black. He, oh, played, he played the oh. race card. Yeah. He played the race card. He's like, oh. really? Yeah. You're throwing me out? You're throwing out a shopper? The man who wants to buy something? Yeah. That's all he had to say. He didn't say, oh, because I'm black or nothing like that. He didn't do any of that. He said, 
I'm trying to buy something. You're going to throw me out and then they let them purchase the item. But the three of us were removed <laughs> in my own town. Yeah. I'm the originator. You know how many times I've been walking in that back room since before some of those other clowns were born? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I'm the originator of screwing around at Walmart right here on YouTube. Well, really on the other channel and it was really Ebenezer. But either way, <laughs> we had fun. We had yes. fun, right? Yes. We had fun. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah! Look at stupid Donna sitting out on her porch smoking her cans of sticks. Like an idiot as always. <laughs> All right, so that was a really fun day. And now we are gonna get... What did you do? The cops were here looking for you. What do you mean the cops were here looking what for me? What did you do? I didn't do anything. You did something because they're looking for you. For me? The cops were just here just now at my house. For you, they're looking for you. Uh, we were at Walmart screwing around. Why would they? Why would the cops come for screwing around at Walmart? That's not a federal offense. We're just having some fun. Hey, they're asking me where you were. Oh, for crying out loud! One like equals one prayer that I don't get in trouble. You didn't sell them out. You didn't sell me out, did you? Say thank you, but no. <laughs> thank you, Donna. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've been hiding out in here for a while, and I picked the shirt that I'm gonna make Barbara wear for when we go to battleground. Now they're home. I'm curious to see what they're up to. Psst. Oh, perfect timing. I made you some dinner because you gained three pounds. I didn't gain three pounds. You, we've been doing you're such a liar. I didn't gain three pounds. Yeah, we've been doing secret weigh-ins because you're embarrassed to do it in front of everyone anymore. He gained three pounds. So this is your dinner. What the hell is that? It looks like a loaf. I don't know. I found it in one of the health boxes. Looks like there's crap in there. Why the hell would you feed me crap? Like, I'm trying to keep feed calories. Feed me a toilet roll. Look, Whoa. did you see? Here, would you would you take this so I can show you the shirt you're gonna wear when we go to Battleground? What are you talking about? <laughs> you have to wear this. Remember, I won the bet. I won the bet for the last pay-per-view, and I said you have to wear the shirt of my choice. So, to let everyone know that you are the Red Mist Period Dragon, you'll wear this shirt that a fan said. No! Yes! No! That's like a guy shirt. It's a 3X. Yeah, it's gonna look good on you, boy. And it's wrinkly. So what? And you it's probably not clean. Hey, hey. Iron it. No. And if it's dirty, wash it. Unlike you wash your butthole, wash You're it. You're disgusting. <laughs> You're disgusting. Wash the shirt. I'm not wearing them. That's not fair. Yes, you are. It is fair. It's huge. That's it's what she absolutely said. huge. I can get you. It's dirty and it's wrinkled, it's and we're dirty. leaving soon. We're, you gotta wear it, man. That's it. Now put it on. Try it on, oh. so I can see if it looks good. Come on. Anything but this. <laughs> Anything but this. I'd rather wear a paid shirt. <laughs> I thought about bad. ordering you a paid shirt, and then, come, come on, that looks on. That looks really cute. I look like I crawled out of a dumpster. You cannot make me wear this. <laughs> dumpster diver. Dumpster diver. But I didn't say how I had to wear it. You know, what? I'm gonna make a nice bracelet. No, you're not gonna make a bracelet. I'm you're gonna, gonna wear a, a nice shirt like a shirt. You wanna wear the Ric Flair robe? Woo! But you didn't say how I had you to wear it. You can wear the Ric Flair shirt. robe. Woo! Look, I'm wearing it. It's on my body. Oh, for I'm wearing it. This is a joke. I'm wearing it. This is a joke. I'm wearing it. Maybe people think I have a broken arm or something. I'll tell you something you You're not, No, you have to wear it like a shirt. Right, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Does you have to wear it like a shirt? I can even wear it as a scarf. No, you can't wear it as a, wear scarf. It as a scarf. You can't wear it as a scarf. What the hell's the matter with her? How come she doesn't understand English? Basketball players have like those scarves. No, you put it on your shirt. What t shirt contest? It's white. That could work out. Eat your dinner. That could work out. Eat your dinner. Let me see that. Wait, just put it right. <gasps> you <stupid. laughs> I kicked it. And now your little loaf is rolling around on the floor. <laughs> Alright, so the next video will be us at Battleground with reactions and all that kind of fun stuff. But of course it won't be up probably not exactly after Battleground because we'll be at Battleground and then I gotta get all the way home from Philadelphia and edit and upload so probably the next morning that will be up. But guys, if you want to go to any WWE event or any event for example, check out SeatGeek.com Use discount code GRIM to get $20 back on your order. That's how I'm able to go to Battleground thanks to SeatGeek and I appreciate all of you guys for your support on yesterday's video with all that bullcrap. We put the negativity behind us. We will not let the these stupid creatures run us off into the night. GTS will be back and better than ever. And the haters, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. Okay, guys. So go to the SeatGeek.com or get the SeatGeek app. And then this is what you do. You open up the app. Boom. SeatGeek, right? And then you type in WWE Battleground or SummerSlam or wherever you want to go. Boom. One event. 
And then you could pick tickets from all the other ticket sellers all over the internet, StubHub and all that kind of stuff, right? They give you the best seats, the best selection anywhere. You pick your seats, right? These are the ones you want. Boom. And all you got to do, promo code G-R-I-M. That's how you save money. You get $20 back. Boom. And that's it. Boom. You got your tickets. And that's it. You are going to Battleground. Like me. And I'll see you guys there.